everyone, thanks for clicking on my video and welcome back to my channel. If you're in the market for a diaper bag or maybe more specifically a backpack style diaper bag, then this video is for you. Today we're gonna to talk about the Land Backpack Style Diaper Bag. So if you'd like to learn more about it, stay tuned. All right guys, so like I just mentioned, this video is going to be about the Land Backpack Style Diaper Bag. And this is the bag that I've used for the last eight months. But for the first month of my son's life, I actually used this bag. And this is technically just a purse with a lot of pockets and it did a pretty good job. But it has a lot of open pockets, ones that you can't close with like a zipper or anything. And I'm always afraid something's gonna fall out or somebody's gonna pit pocket me. Also just kind of the hassle of keeping it up on your shoulder, especially when you're trying to like bend down and take care of the baby and, and stuff falling out of the bag while you're doing that and always trying to keep it up on your shoulder. It was just kind of annoying and I figured that maybe a backpack style diaper bag would be easier. So I'm sure you've probably seen this bag on Facebook or on the Wish app. It's all over the place now. So in this video, I wanted to go over what all I keep in the bag, how much you can stuff into the bag, the pros and cons of it, and then also some mod or modifications that I've made to the bag over the last eight months. So let's go ahead and jump into all that stuff. All right, guys, so jumping right into the bag, uh, the first couple of things that you can see is that it does have two side pockets. Um, this one, I just keep our wipes in it. And it does have a little slit here for uh, being able to pull out the wipes if you have a different kind of container than I do. Uh, on this side, I keep his thermos that I keep his warm water in when we're out and about so I can make a bottle if, if I need to. Uh, neither one of these pockets are insulated. They don't have that kind of like the metal looking stuff. Um, and they stretch quite a bit. Um, not a whole lot, but they do stretch out, which is nice. Um, the bag does have a little clippy thing. I guess this is for being able to clip it to your stroller or to a shopping cart, I guess. I don't really use this. I'll get into more on that later, but it does have this. Another nice feature that I like about this bag is that when you open it, it has like a structure to it. It's not like like a, the types of, types of backpacks that you used in school when you would open it and the things would just flop open and be limp. This has a good opening as I drop it, but it opens up nice and wide. It has four pockets on the inside as well as a zipper pocket. I'll put a photo of kind of what an aerial view of that looks like. And so in the pockets, you can squeeze quite a few diapers into these big pockets. I have one, two, three, four, five, six diapers that fit easily into one of the side pockets. I also have my wallet that I keep in there. I keep a little first aid kit in here. And then the last pocket, I have two burp rags that I keep. Uh, in the zipper pocket, I have an extra pacifier and a pacifier clip. I have some baby shampoo as a just in case, some nail clippers, and then some chapstick. So, that is what all I can fit in just the perimeter pockets on the inside of this bag. And getting into the body now of the backpack, I have a toy that I always attach a pacifier clip to because you can clip it to your baby, you can clip it to their car seat, their stroller. I always put one of these on his toys whenever we're out and about, so that way we're less likely to, to lose it. So. I have a toy in there for him. I have some snacks. I have his changing mat. I have a sippy cup. I have his bottle. Um, we use the Como Tomo bottles and I'll talk more about these bottles with this bag um, in a little bit. But we have this in there. 
I have an extra change of clothes for him. His formula, his rice cereal to go with the formula, and a blanket. So that's all what's in the body of the bag. And then there's also this front pocket that has three insulated bottle holders, but his Como Tomo bottles don't fit in these pockets. So I've just turned them into extra pockets for other things. So I have some foaming hand sanitizer. I have two bibs. I have these little doggy doo-doo bags, but hey, these are pretty good for just putting like soiled diapers in if you don't have a trash can available. These do a pretty good job of being able to just put the diapers in. So we have that, some tissues, oh, and some crayons. A big old thing of lotion. I should probably just get a smaller thing of lotion. And then some butt paste. So that is all that I, oh, actually, and then some hand little wipes. So that's all that I carry around in this, in this bag right now. I used to carry a lot more in this bag. My son had a pretty bad case of acid reflux for the first four months of his life and he was spitting up constantly. It was, it was pretty bad. It, it, yeah, so I will have another video about that in the future about dealing with a baby that spits up a lot. But what I used to carry around in this bag, I have just this one extra pair of clothes. I used to have at least four extra pair of clothes that I would carry around in this bag. I would carry around four extra burp rags and I would carry around a thicker blanket than this. And let's see here. Oh, and then at least six bibs. So I would cram all of that into here and still have room to spare. You can squeeze so much into this bag. And the nice thing about that is if you are cramming a lot into this bag and you need something that's at the bottom of the bag, the nice thing about this is that you can access the bottom of the bag via the back side of the bag. So if I needed a blanket, I could just open this, pull out the blanket, and not have to go in through the top, pull everything out to get to what I want on the bottom. So it is nice that this has the opening right here and there's another zipper right here. I don't think I have anything in, oh, I have a couple of little bags, like shopping bags for old bags that I forgot to remove when I would put his soiled diapers in. So, so this bag is, you can squeeze so much into it and it doesn't expand a whole lot. Like some of the diaper bags you see, they like bulge out really far. This one really doesn't. This is pretty much what it looks like when it's completely filled. So a few more pros to this bag would be that it has a wipeable exterior and interior fabric. Over the last eight months, we've definitely had some spills. So being able to just wipe it clean or wipe it dry is very, very convenient. It comes in lots and lots of different colors. So you, you can probably find the color you're looking for. And it's a pretty stylish bag. I've worn this to a wedding when my son was just a couple months old. And it's got lots of pockets, which is great. It's got, it's very, very roomy. And it doesn't like extend to this ginormous bubble looking like backpack when you stuff it full. So those are some of my favorite things about this bag. Now some cons for this bag would be this little clippy thing that I talked about before. It, it's not very big. Like this does not fit around my stroller handle. This does not fit around the handle on the shopping cart. I don't really know what, I mean, I'm sure it works for some people, but that's just not a lot of, that's not a big circumference that comes with this, this little button clippy thing. So what I did to modify that was I just ordered a carabiner. I ordered one with like two little, two little openings. So this one clips to the bag and then this one I can clip to my stroller. I can clip it to the shopping cart. 
it just makes life a lot easier than having to deal with this little clippy thing that's here. So I would suggest maybe getting a carabiner. It will make your life a lot easier. Another con that I have for this bag would be the way that this upper handle kind of lays because when you go to grab the strap, when you're in a hurry, sometimes when you grab it, it catches like right here. And then you're trying to put it on and you look like a fool because you're like, how, did I forget how to put on a backpack? And then you take it off and you're like, oh, I see the problem. So it's not a deal breaker for me. It's not a big issue. I just have to be more careful when I go to grab the strap but it, it can be kind of annoying. Another con that I have for this bag would be the size of these pockets, these insulated pockets that it has. They're not very big. I'm sure that they would fit like a Dr. Brown's bottle. I'm sure those would fit, but we use the Komotomo bottles and they're pretty big or pretty wide and they just don't, they just don't fit in here. So I wasn't able to use those. Um, it doesn't even really fit like in that way. I mean, I guess I can make it work, but it's, eh, don't really like doing that, but it's okay. I mean, a pocket's a pocket, right? So I just stuff, stuff other things in there. I do wish this front pocket was, was bigger. Um, you know, in addition to maybe making these pockets a little bit bigger, it would be nice if this, pocket could kind of extend a little bit more so that way if you stuff it, it it extends a bit but that's probably one of the contributing factors of it not looking like a bubble backpack when you really really stuff it full so that's kind of another con that's just a personal preference for me is I'd like to be able to stuff more into this but it's not a big deal so the last con that I have for this bag is about the top zipper um, it's a good quality zipper. It's never snagged. It's never split apart. I've never had any issue, issues with it like that, but it is kind of hard to zip closed and to zip open one handed because it has this little curve that it has to make and it's hard to do with only one hand. So, you know, you got your baby in one arm and you're trying to jiggle it to get it shut or to get it open. So I wish it was a little bit more fluid being able to open closed or open up, but overall all the cons added up still make it a good bag for me. None of the cons are deal breakers for me. I've learned to live with the things that I don't like, like adding the carabiner. I even have a little, another little carabiner with hand sanitizer on it here. And but overall, it's a great bag. I really, really enjoy it. Um, you can find it on Amazon. I would suggest making sure to not get a knockoff. Um, I remember when I was researching this bag about a year ago, um, when I was looking on Amazon, I was seeing a lot cheaper versions of this, but they didn't have any reviews. And that kind of made me a little cautious to make me think that maybe they're knockoffs. So I will link below where I found my bag on Amazon so that way you don't have to worry about buying a knockoff. But they are also on Wish. You can always, just always look at the reviews. If it's a, if it's a really good price, just look at the reviews. Make sure that the reviews don't look a little fishy or you know if it doesn't have any reviews, maybe be a little bit cautious there. Um, but you can always find a great deal on these, you know, with the Wish app or maybe on the Facebook app. You can always try to look on the Facebook market page or marketplace to see if you can find any used ones of these. These ones weren't as popular about a year ago when I first started to look into them. There was actually only one YouTube video that I could find on this bag when I was researching them about a year ago. And now I'm sure as you've seen, there are tons of videos about this bag. So 
keep researching. You know, if the cons that I've mentioned today are ones that are deal breakers for you, at least now you know before you've purchased it. But overall, it's a great bag. If you have any questions about it, feel free to comment down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. And I hope to see you guys again soon. I'll have more videos up soon and I will see you guys later. Bye.